For a long time, most of the textile designers I worked with used Photoshop. Now, I've always felt Illustrator was simpler in terms of editing, recoloring, creating repeats, but I'm not a textile designer. I just work with them. And since I use Illustrator all the time, I figured I was a little biased. But more and more, the textile designers I've been speaking with have been using Illustrator and want some tips on what tools or functions work best for a textile designer. So that's what I'm focusing on today. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Mikkel Drew Pelham. I talk about digital fashion design software and communication on this channel. So if that's something you're interested in, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell. So I've got 10 tools and functions that I think are amazing for any textile designer. And although they're not in order of least to most significant, make sure you stay tuned to the end because I'm going to reveal the four tools and functions that I believe are the most relevant. And bonus for all of you iPad users, most of these can be used on the iPad. First up is our old faithful, the pen tool. This is of course a staple for anyone drawing in Illustrator. It gives you precision as you're drawing and much more control than some of the freehand tools. And while it is a little more complex to learn how to control the pen tool, once you get it, you can design some really great things with it. Number two is the pencil tool. This is your freehand option. And if you're someone who likes to draw their own motifs for their textile designs, this is a tool you'll really like. And this is one that I think works really well on the iPad. Plus, most of us using an iPad have a stylus and having that stylus just makes using a freehand tool so much easier to control. Number three, image trace. Plenty of textile designers still love to draw with paper and pencil. And once you create your drawings, you'll use the image trace function so you can make it usable in a digital format. If you're unfamiliar with what image trace is or you want a clearer explanation of how to use it, make sure you check out this video on my channel. It's a really wonderful tool to quickly convert your hand-drawn artwork into digital art. And this video will show you some newer functions that have been added to image trace. Number four, shape tools. At some point when you're designing your prints, you're going to need basic shapes circles, triangles, rectangles, a polygon, or you may be creating something that's similar to a basic shape and these tools will serve as a good starting point for you to create something new. One of the things I often talk about on this channel when using Illustrator or any digital fashion software is to make sure you're working as efficiently as possible. So if you're creating an elliptical shape, even if it's a little irregular, don't try to draw it yourself start with a shape tool. Number five, the shape builder tool. Anyone who regularly watches my videos knows that I am a very big fan of the shape builder tool. And it works not only for drawing flat sketches, but also for textile design. Quickly and easily create new shapes, poke holes or create negative space inside and on shapes. It's so much simpler than trying to do it with the pathfinder or trying to draw it yourself. Number six, the color guide. This is one that I don't think many people use often, but it's a really helpful way to find harmonious colors for your prints and graphics. And choosing color is actually a lot harder than most people think, so having this little handy palette is very helpful. I know it helped me out many times when I needed a new colorway for a print or graphic I was working on. This one I've also created a video on, so if you wanted to know more about the color guide, make sure you check out this video. Number seven, and the first of my four most relevant tools is recolor artwork. I've been using this function for years now and Adobe keeps improving it. It's an awesome way to quickly recolor any pattern, whether you need to rotate existing colors within the artwork or just come up with some new and fun colorways. You can even choose colors based on the theme of a picture. It's pretty dope. 
And now Adobe has introduced a generative AI option that will allow you to spin different colors based on themes or text prompts. By the way, the generative AI color was number eight and the second of the four most relevant illustrator functions for textile designers. And for both recolor artwork and generative AI color, you can check out these videos on my YouTube channel to learn more about them. Coming in at number nine and the third most relevant for textile design is the repeat function. Now this was actually initially introduced on the iPad and months later made its way to the desktop version. But it's an awesome tool if you need to create radial, grid, or mirrored artwork. And if you're wondering if I have another video detailing exactly how to use the repeat functions, I do. So make sure you check out this video on my channel. Last but certainly not least, and coming in at number 10 and the fourth most relevant illustrator for textile design function is the pattern options function. If there's one thing that textile designers might list as something that gives them trouble each time they create a new all over print, most of them will probably say creating the repeat. I've heard some designers tell me that it can take hours to get it right. And this is why I love the pattern options function. This function in Illustrator makes it so much simpler to create an all over repeat, whether you're doing a full or half drop, and it's built into the program. Photoshop has that pattern preview feature now that will help you create a seamless full drop repeat. But when it comes to creating a half drop, there's still no simple way to do it without a plugin. If you're a textile designer and you're choosing a digital software to design with, I highly recommend Illustrator. There's a lot about it that can really make your design job easier, as you've heard. And if you're using Photoshop, I invite you to start experimenting with Illustrator. There's quite a few tools and functions that can really help you create beautiful artwork while simplifying some of the work. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure you check the description for the links to the videos I referenced. And if you are interested in more formal step-by-step -step Illustrator instruction, make sure you check out my courses and my Illustrator manual. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe, and share this video if you find it helpful. Have a fantastic week and I'll see you next time.